Welcome back to The Walking Dead. Who am I? Alright, we're, we're right where we left off. Let's go. We just... Yeah. Okay. We just fainted after walking through a horde of zombies with Clementine. After confronting the guy that stole her, Wake up. she killed her. Please don't be dead. Please, no. I'm still alive, honey. <gasps> I, I was so scared. Oh my god, his eyes are yellow. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, oh. I my parents. Yeah. Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. They really are. As fast as we can. Well, we can't. He's dead. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it. Oh, this is so sad. Lee's like dying. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. You can't pull on three. One, two, three! Oh my <laughs> god, Q. <laughs> He's sick. Guys, this is the end. See? That means Emily's prediction One was time, totally right. Honey. <laughs> what? What? What happened? No, 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 that's, oh. that's not, no, 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 no. Yes, Clem, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, I'm going to cry. Stop. Okay. So sad. I, I think there might be a way out over there. Of course, there's a zombie in there. Oh. Good, good girl. <laughs> Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Are we playing as Clementine or us? I think we're playing as Lee still. <clears throat> I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. <sighs> it was a creepy place. She is oh, not wrong. We're almost there. This is so sad. He can't get up, do Lee. The door is right here. Q. We have to Q to get up. This is so sad. Ugh, I can't. You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me. <gasps> please, please try to get up. Q. For Clementine! Oh no! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I, I can't leave you! Oh. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Am I Clement? Oh. 
Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's no big deal. It's just a glass window. Ow! Not with your hand. What's it looking at? There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. <gasps> he can't move. Use the bat to shut that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. He's such a father. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. The way out is through there, Clem. I know. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. There's a chair over there. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in. It's a completely different experience grabbing for something, but somebody else will do it. Did she do it? Open it. Stupid cat. <laughs> he's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. I'm not saying anything. I am speechless. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. There's no saving Lee. Get him! Get him! Grab it! Watch out!
on my turn, honey. And if I do, it won't be good. No, you can't. You can't do that. He says that so exactly. Sad. I don't want to. I'm trying. I'm trying. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine this would be. And now, you. Please. Oh, I'm crying. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. I can make it, honey. I had to kill my brother after he turned. I didn't know that. It was terrible, sweetie. You just have to do it. I know you can. Ah, this is so sad. I hated seeing him like one of them. And I don't want you to see me like that. And I don't want to hurt you. Please, Clem. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I, I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. They'll take good care of you. No, this is so sad. And I have my crying voice now. Oh, and always keep moving. You're going to want to find some place like the motor in, but that's just not safe. Why not? Those places are just targets. Move as much as you can. I have a time to remember. And also. <gasps> no! <sighs> oh! What? What is it? No, don't worry. Alright. Oh. Me too. That's the end. A Telltale Games production. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's the end. That's the end of season one. Oh. That's so sad. Oh. 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 That was so sad. Removed Lee's arms. You and 28% of players didn't remove your arm. Yeah, that's Emily's fault. I wanted to, but I um I was gonna go back and fix it. But after that, I realized I read that it doesn't affect the stories, the story that much. So I didn't go back and fix it. Did you lose temper? You and twenty four percent of the players calmly argued with Kenny. Now when was this? I don't know when this was. Uh, 
gave up weapons, you know, when 59% of players surrendered your weapons, killed Clementine's captor, you and 50% of the players didn't kill the stranger. I assume that was when we were pressing Q. Stopped Lee from... Oh, this one's called Goodbye. Oh! Stopped Lee from turning. You and 63% of players made sure Lee didn't turn. Oh, are these all of our decisions? You told him about your past. You talked him down from ignoring his son's fate. He lost the herd. He lost to the herd trying to save Krista. You asked him to kill his son. You found water for Duck when he needed it. She shot herself when faced with her son's death. You trusted him with your axe despite his vendetta. You tried to revive him with CPR. Larry died in the meat locker at the diary. You backed her up when her supplies went missing. You chose to reveal your past to her. Lily stole the RV and was never seen again. You bonded with him over U.S. history. You helped him get to the train. You were separated after you crossed the sign. <laughs> you dropped Ben from the bell tower. That's the only thing he did. You saved her life at the cost of another. You agreed with her to tell others about your past. You defended her against Lily's accusations. She was killed by Carly. I miss... I, I mean, she was killed by Lily. I miss Carly so much right now. You met her on your worst day so far. You revealed your bite to her. After getting separated, you told them to find you. You were with him when you found your brother. He died when walkers attacked at the drugstore. You let him be your sidekicks to solve a mystery. He was shot by his father before turning. <laughs> Oh. The top, the crags and cliffs, the air is thin. Well, guys, um, so we'll find I guess that's it path for The Walking Dead Season 1. This was a fantastic game, no and as you can see, I really enjoyed it. And it really made me feel at the end when we got shot. Again. Um,. I can't wait to start season two. This is just a beautiful game, and I assume season two is just as beautiful. And uh, it's so sad to see the character you've been playing as, working as this whole time. You've been playing as him, you've been making decisions for him, and he disappears. All of the characters from the original group are gone. Every single last one of them were left or died. I just want to acknowledge Carly was such a beautiful character. I loved how she played into the story. I loved Lily too. She was a wonderful character. Kenny, even though... Oh, what am I doing? I'm like making like thank yous to different people. But it was just such a, a great game and it made me feel so many things and it was honestly even better than a movie. It was one of the most in-depth games I've ever played and it's definitely my type of game. It's my favorite type of game. Now, let's see who played who. Lee Everett, Dave Fenroy, Clementine, Melissa Hutchinson. Kenny, Gavin Hammond, Ben, Trevor Hoffman, Omid, Owen Thomas, Krista, Mar Mara Junot, Radio Voice, Roger Jackson, Stranger, Anthony Lamb. I guess they don't tell you whoever played who. So, yeah, I'm a little upset that, like, I'm, this definitely isn't going to be the last time I open this game for sure. This is going to be a game that I will keep playing over and over again and trying to get a better story each time because there's so many things that could have happened and it's such a wonderful wonderful experience I love it so much and I hope you really enjoyed this game as much as I did this journey it was so fun and beautiful and oh, there it is
There it is. The ending credits. This is kind of the last time this is coming up. Now, I don't know if it shows us anything else after this. <gasps> it does. I, that's why I was waiting. So what is this? this is Clementine? She's alone. <laughs> she wants Lee back. Batteries! Or are those bullet shells? If those are batteries, I'm gonna cry. Those are bullet shells. Where's Omid and Krista? Where are they? <gasps> Who are those people? I really hope that's Omid and Krista. <gasps> I guess that was the trailer for season two. But anyway, guys, I guess this is the last time you'll see this menu. Uh, 400 days, I know that's a DLC. I don't know if we'll be playing that. I really want to, but I don't know if that'll happen. I don't know if I have enough money. It's only like $5, I know, but it's like, I don't know. But anyway, this was a wonderful game, a wonderful experience. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a subscribe button because Season 2 will be coming very soon as I cannot wait any longer to play Season 2. I love you guys so much. And, uh... Goodbye.